everyone back with another video this time uh, showcasing a couple pickups from a uh, Probstein auction and a uh, PWCC auction recently this will probably be my uh, last card video for a little bit and I'll actually probably delay putting this online uh, as I said in another video I'm moving so uh, these are just the last few cards that have straggled in before I uh, get my cards all shipped off so I'll probably not be buying a lot of stuff uh, while I'm moving uh, just because you know obviously don't have a good a good place for anyone to send stuff to me but I uh, wanted to show this to you here I've uh, got some nice old vintage stuff uh, starting with the 1949 Tommy Holmes uh, Bowman and excellent mint six then I've got a couple 1951 Bowman some really sharp uh, nicely centered a uh, Doyle laid and then a Hal Jeffcoat uh, two Chicago Cub players then a card I really like. This is probably uh, next to my 52 tops. Uh, Gil Hodges. This is probably my second favorite Gil Hodges card. This 53 Bowman color. Uh, very nice centering on this one. Just a really good uh, good photo. And then a, another really nice uh, 55 Bowman. This card is uh, very sharp. It looks packed fresh, but it does have some printing defects, some smudging on the edges, which are holding this back. And then coming down, I purchased a couple nice vintage autograph cards here, starting with this uh, Gil McDougal for the New York Yankees. I actually grade the card a five, and then uh, just PSA DNA certified on the autograph. And then sticking with the 55s here, this 55 Bowman Frank Thomas autograph. Yeah, not the Frank Tom not the Frank Thomas here. You're probably thinking of, uh, but uh, yeah. And then on here, another Yankee, this 55. Uh, Charlie Silvera. Hope I'm pronouncing that name right. And then another high quality uh, common here. This uh, excellent cement six. Uh, Willie Jones. His uh, his name was Puddin Head. Puddin Head. <laughs> and then on to uh, 56 tops. Uh, another cool card of uh, Gil Hodges with him sliding in the background. It's just a VG X plus a 4.5. Uh, that's I got this card from a PWCC auction, and then another card I got from the PWCC auction would be this Bob Feller. This is Bob Feller's last year, so this is just a VGX plus a 4.5. Still kind of cool. I like the 54 tops, how they have the in action photo in there, and then a couple of items for the Roberto Clemente collection and also the Hank Aaron collection and uh, Cepeda collection as well and this one right here this is OPG uh, just the NL RBI leader so you got three Hall of Famers on there uh, it's just an excellent five but uh, super cool card didn't pay a whole lot for it but uh, these OPG are always tough so to get a 68 OPG uh, get it, just get it graded is pretty cool and then a 72 uh, tops Clemente in action I like that Clemente in action uh, he must have just struck out or something I wasn't too happy about it but that's just an excellent mint six. All right, so kind of a light, uh, light recap. But uh, this is probably going to be the last recap I do for for at least a couple weeks. Hopefully, hopefully when I get to Alabama and start buying cards again, I'll be able to put some more videos online. But once again, everybody, thanks for all your posts and comments. I, I really appreciate it. And then until next time, thanks again. Bye.